And starting with the latest, we're tracking as far as the ongoing controversy around the Kali poster is concerned. Now, the Delhi Police Special Cell unit has filed an FIR on the derogatory picture of Mark Kali. An FIR has been filed under Section uh, of IPC 153A and 295A. Viewers, important to point out here how several complaints all through yesterday were filed against the poster, but a first such FIR that has now been filed under the section 153A and 295A of the IPC. This alleging that this is a derogatory picture that has been used of Goddess Kali. Priyank continues to stay on with us. A first FIR in the case so far, Priyank. Several complaints already, though, have been filed. What more can you tell us? Yes, there was a series of complaints which was filed against uh, uh, several individuals, uh, by, you know, those people who were uh, uh, you know, behind posting this the derogatory poster uh, of a film which uh, was screened in abroad and later on uh, they, uh, the manner in which uh, the derogatory picture of uh, the goddess uh, Makali was also uh, you know, posted on social media platform. Uh, taking cognizance of that, the Delhi police have already uh, you know, started investigation in this case. Uh, the series of complaints were given to uh, several police stations, uh, but uh, the senior officials have uh, forwarded this, this complaint to uh, the IFSO, which uh, the cyber unit of Delhi Police Special Cell to investigate uh, those people who were behind it. Uh, certainly what we are expecting that the producers and the director of the film will be summoned very soon uh, to join the investigation that whether they were the one who decided this kind of picture or it was someone else's fault, that can only be known once the investigation will go on. Uh, but the breaking input which we are getting that under Section 1, uh, uh, 95A as well as, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 153A as a 295A, uh, and FIR has been filed at Delhi Police uh, Special Cell IFSO unit. All right. So Delhi Police Special Cell IFSO unit has filed an FIR on the derogatory picture of Mark Ali that has been used in this poster. This poster is, of course, of a documentary. And if we talk about uh, Priyank, the ongoing controversy. Now, what we have essentially seen all through yesterday is how, of course, some feel that this is a result of the uh, director's imagination. Uh, you know, freedom of speech is being exercised by the filmmaker. And so there's nothing wrong in it. But most who have had a problem with this, who put out reactions on social media say this is selective hypocrisy over secularism. Uh, see, uh, they can have several opinions, but uh, hurting someone's religious feeling is certainly not uh, permissible according to the Indian uh, penal code. According to the Indian law, certainly uh, the, they have to be, uh, you know, freedom of speech is there. But that should not hurt anyone's religious or social or, uh, you know, uh, sentiment as far well as personal level. Uh, this is a poster which uh, was, could have caused the communal hatred among two different uh, communities. That's why Section 153A and 295A has been uh, added in this particular FI because uh, uh, the initial uh, part of the complaint suggests that a few of uh, the individuals, in fact, several of them were hurt uh, by looking at the picture, which was uh, derogatory for them and for the goddess, uh, uh, according to their religious beliefs. Uh, that's why the investigating officer finally, you know, took cognizance of the complaints which was given to them. And based on this, FI has been filed. It's a matter of investigation uh, that whether the police officials will be able to, you know, prove it before the court of law, that whether the, it is justified for them to file an FI or not. Uh, but every FI or every police uh, investigation, it's yes. As well so as first as well. FR in the case, as this is now garnering global attention. Let's see how it plays. Priyank, thank you for joining us with all those details. Well